Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Y'all pray for him. This was a surprise to me. Bless Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love you. I praise you, For your guidance, Lord, I thank you, Father God, for all that which you're doing here, God. Help us, God. God, to come together and to grow together, God. See who you called us to be, God. God, I'll praise and glorify you, Father God. I thank you. God, I ask you, God, to just anoint him, God. God, from the top of his head, clean as the soles of his feet. Make teaching and preaching easy this morning, Father God. We'll praise and magnify you for it all. In Jesus' sweet name we pray. Yes, Lord, help me to deliver that. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Turn. Amen. 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 Say this, and I'm just going to speak what God would have me to, and I'm trying to get down as quick as I can. It probably won't take long, but I don't think. But uh, last night, Derek, well, Derek came out to the car, and I was standing out there, and he said, uh, he said, be ready in the morning. And I, I told him, mm-hmm. I said, brother, I said, God ain't talked to me about anything. I said, the only thing he's talked to me about is uh, one message. And I said, he, the Lord said it was for the revival. And uh, he said, well, just just, just be ready anyway. He said, I'll be ready, so you just be ready. I don't think it's too late. Bless the Lord. <laughs> he said, I'll be ready, so you just Jeez. be ready. So he was just going to leave it in God's hands, whatever took place. But God, whatever God wanted, that's the way it ought to be. But I, I thought if I was going to be ministering, it was going to be preaching service, but God flip-flopped it on me, I guess. But anyway... Uh, I went pizza. home last night and well, we was on our way home. We are going out to get some pizza and go home and eat supper. And the Lord hadn't said anything to me. My mind was on that pizza place up there, Sister Sandy, but we was driving down the road. <coughs> I heard him when he said, be ready. Be ready. And I ain't been. I saw him was up. Yes. I said, oh God, oh, okay, Lord, I can do that much. I can, I can. I can look at the Bible, I can pray, I can listen, you know, but at that point, God hadn't said anything to me. I got home, I prayed, and I looked at the Bible, and I thought about this and thought about that, but nothing, I couldn't feel the movement of the Spirit inside, nothing, absolutely nothing, Sister Sandra. I went out to the car, and told Brother Derek this this morning, I told the Lord, I said, God, I feel like I've preached everything in the Bible from what <coughs> Genesis to Revelation. I feel like I have said it. I've told all my, my life stories and tales, you know, trying to preach your word. And I said, God, I don't have anything left. Don't have nothing, God. I said, I just don't feel like I got anything. What do you want? <coughs> he never said a word. Finally went on in and went to bed, Sister Sanders, after 11 o'clock. <laughs> I was tired. I laid down. I woke up this morning real early. Before it got daylight, really. And I'm laying there and I'm thinking, man, it feels good. And the first thought that come to me was, Brother Derek said that you didn't have anything. He, he'd be ready. And you don't got anything, so why don't you just lay here and rest a while. But I heard another voice. And it said, be ready. Be ready. I had to get up, Sister Shirley. I got up, made coffee, got ready. Got ready to go out to the park or wherever I felt led to go to study the Word and pray for a while and I made my coffee and I had to go in the restroom and I was in there. As I sat down, the Lord reminded me of something. It was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. I was a Boy Scout once upon a time. Come on. About 14, 15 years old, somewhere or thereabouts. Come on. And when the Lord began to speak to me about my, uh, uh, as I was growing up and, and going into Boy Scouts and, 
And this particular thing that happened to me, I thought, Lord, what does that have to do with anything? Then he spoke one word, Sister Sandra. And I knew what he was talking about. Before I go any further, I want to say this. Y'all remember I, I told something about myself last Sunday morning. Mm. Told you about, do you, do you remember what I said? I mean, I know I said a lot of things, but there's a particular thing that I said about myself. I said, I will never preach to you, or at you. I will never preach at you. I may, all, I may preach to you, but I have never, and I will never preach at anyone. Maybe my kids. <laughs> but I will not preach at you. I will preach to you. I will not preach something that I think. I will not preach over something I've heard. I will not preach over anything except what I hear the Holy Spirit saying to me. Amen. 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 I preach what God says. This is something I really don't want to preach, to be honest with you. And I said, God, I said, I really don't want to do this. I said, Lord, I really don't want to. And then he, I remembered the word that he spoke to me. Mm -hmm. Sister Sandra, when God wants us to say, say something, He wants us to say it. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it ain't always accepted the way we would like for it to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there were people in the Bible that came against Jesus. There were people in the Bible that came against His apostles and mm -hmm. disciples. You know, I'll say it again, said it once, said almost every time I get up here, we can agree, disagree, still be agree. We don't mm -hmm. have to fight. Mm -hmm. You know, we can sit down. I, some people said, well, don't ever, people at work said, don't ever discuss religion or politics to get you in trouble. I said, I don't talk to anyone unless I feel the option. Man. Unless I feel the Spirit leading me to, unless Amen. I feel the freedom Man. to do so. I said, and by the way, I don't fuss or argue over the Word. I said, I may debate, but I will not argue and I will not fuss over God's Word. It says what it says, it is what it is. And I understand it, Sister Sue, as the Lord has given him to me. He might have given you something different along the same subject. But you know, we work together. Yeah. We're a body that works together. My thumb is not my foot. And my foot is not my ear. And if they were changed around, I'd look mighty strange. So he's given us to us as he wanted us to be <laughs> mm -hmm. set in his body. And that's the only thing we can do. Yes. I'm not like that little woodpecker. Mm -hmm. I know it's my job to sit on the tree in the pet. But I'm not the one that blew it up and made the toothpicks. Right. No. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's right. She was here last night. Yeah. You know, the little woodpecker wanted to claim, you know, yeah. you. he wanted to claim the power that that thing blew up and shred into a bunch of pieces. <laughs> he thought he did, brother. He thought he did. <laughs> yeah. that day, and when he looked back, he said, look what I did. Oh, well, I did. He had nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's the way we are. Yeah. Right. You know, that's the way we All yeah. good things come from above. Yeah. Right. And if we can do anything, it's because of Him. Yep. If we can say anything it, good, right or if we can do anything good, let me remind you, it's because of Him. Amen. So I ain't up here to put on the show. I try to walk what I talk and live what I preach. And I'm not perfect, neither is nobody. Mom. Bless the Lord. But let me just tell you what the Lord reminded me of when I was in the when I was in the Boy Scouts. So I got everybody's attention. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. One time, I remember they had a way of initiating the boys that was first started in Boy Scouts, and I just started. Some of the guys got together, and they decided we was going to hunt. They was going to take me hunting. Uh-oh. And we was, it just so happened, we had woods around us where we had this big old field out there. Yeah. And they said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take you out there, and we're going to leave you out there in the middle of that field, and we're going to leave you with a spag. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, said, we're going to go and hunt some snipes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to get out here and we're going to rustle them up. We're going to scare them up. We're going to head them your way. And that snipe is going to run right into your bag. Come on, brother. Yeah. I had never been snipe hunting before. <laughs> I will never go again. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> I was left holding the bag. Yeah, you was. Right. Come on. Amen, Amen brother. <laughs> I was left out there all alone in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And one day it was dark. And yeah. I could hear them getting further and further and further away. And you didn't have no light. I listened and I listened and I didn't have a light. 
Come on, brother. I was waiting on snipes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. And as I heard them getting further and further and further away, Sister Sandra, all at once, it's, they would be hollering and screaming, and yeah, just, uh, mm -hmm. all at once it faded away. And I'm there with a bat. And I'm thinking, where's, where's that snipe? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, snipe. <laughs> Dark out here. Uh, uh. And I don't like being alone. But they set me up. Yeah. Right. Come on. They wanted to initiate me. I got initiated all right. Mm -hmm. I finally realized I was by myself. <laughs> and I finally yeah. realized that that night wasn't coming my uh, way. Right. Mm -hmm. Bless him, oh God. Come on, brother. Come on. Bless him, oh God. This morning, Jesus. As I was sitting in the bathroom this morning and the Lord reminded me of that story, I said, God, what's that got to do with anything? He spoke one word to me. Yeah. One word. And he said, deception. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. I was deceived by them uh, other guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was told something that did not exist. Amen. I was told something yep. that was not true. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the truth about snipes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that there weren't such things. Mm -hmm. Come on. I thought they were for real. Right. I was left holding the bag. Yeah. Right. The devil sometimes, Sister Sandra, wants to do the church yes. the right. same way. Yeah. He That's wants right. sometimes to leave us holding the bag, Brother Derek. Yes, and if on, we're man. not careful, that's exactly where we'll find ourselves, yes. out in the middle of nowhere, right in the middle of the dark, all alone. Mm -hmm. Holding the bag. Holding the bag. With no life. Don't let the devil Come on. deceive you Come on. into holding the bag. Do you hear what I'm saying? Come on, brother. Because there's all kinds of deceptions out yeah. there that Satan can use. Yes. He is a good illusionist. Yeah. He yeah. can make you believe oh. things that you wouldn't want to believe. Right. Yeah. Come on. He yeah. can pull some magic tricks on you very easily if you're not careful. Let me tell you about the power of the Holy Ghost this morning. Don't be deceived yes. by that old fox. When he tells you, let's go spy hunting, you look him straight in the eye and you tell him, I don't think I want to go because there ain't no such thing as Amen. Snipes. That's right. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying? Come the on. devil is a great magician. He is a good illusionist. Yeah. He is the master of deception. Yes, he, is. he will lie to you. He will try to convince you of things that are not true. He will try to make you believe things that are not right. Yes, you know what? We shouldn't allow him to deceive us because we have a God that will let us know and understand the truth. If we want to say the truth because he said the truth will set you free. Yes, Praise the Lord. But let me tell you something. Everybody that comes around you not necessarily on your side. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you something. I don't know about y'all, but I used to like Elvis Presley. You know why I liked Elvis Presley? Because he could sing real good. Yeah. Yeah. He was a good looking man, Sister Sandra, and he had a good voice. And he had a way of getting people's attention. Yep. And I've heard saying, and I've seen a few of them, they're called impersonators. Right. They're called Elvis impersonators. <laughs> Let me tell you something this morning. <laughs> they might try to act like Elvis. No. They might try to look yeah. like Elvis. They might try to sing like Elvis. But let me tell you something. They're nothing but impersonators. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I might look at somebody that looks like Elvis. I might listen to somebody that sounds like Elvis. But I'm here to tell you they can't do like Elvis did because they're impersonators. Yep. Come on. Why are you saying all that? I'm fixing to tell you. 
Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. There is one God. Yeah. Yeah. There is one God. Yeah. <laughs> yep. His name is Jehovah. Yeah. Jesus. Or, Jehovah. Or, he's got several names in the Bible. Yes. Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the Sharon of the Rose of Sharon. Come on. I need some water. Praise the Lord. I got one right here. And there are people, thank you, Brother George. And there are people that will try to deceive you. There are people that will lie to you to get in your wallet. Yep. There are people that will lie to you to try to get into your mind. There are people that will lie to you to even try to get into your heart. Yep. Come on. You're right. I used to be a young teenager and I was growing up and I learned to be a good liar. Come on. Just so that I could get my way, Sister Sandra. I didn't care if I told the truth or not. The truth wasn't important. There was only something that I thought, you know, that I desired. So the truth didn't matter. And the devil is the same way. The devil doesn't like God's people. <laughs> <laughs> and he Wrong. will deceive you if you let it. But yes, you know what? He can't deceive someone that doesn't want to be deceived. Right. Right. You know why some people don't want to live the truth? Because they don't want to hear the truth. Right. And the Bible says the truth will make you free. What it says. When we understand the truth, Make us free. Amen. Come on. I like to watch America's Got Talent sometimes, y'all. I don't know why Penny watches this on there. Come on. And they have magicians on there, Sister Sandra. And I've seen them do some wild stuff. And I'll sit there and I'll think, how in the world could they have done that? Here, think of a car. Don't show it to me. But then the next thing you know, they'll put a light on the ceiling and there's the card. They'll do things that you just can't understand how they do it. And they won't even tell you how they do it. Because you see what they want to do, they want to continue to deceive. They want to continue to fascinate. They want to continue to be the illusionists that they are. Yeah. They make things, listen to me, somebody, I feel the Holy Ghost, and I don't know why, but they make things seem as they aren't. Yes, they do. They make things seem, look one way, when they really yeah. ain't that way. They're magicians. Yes. Yeah. They're illusionists. Mm -hmm. And they're deceptive about what they do because they can make you believe I, they actually did that. Made something disappear right in thin air. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, that's not possible except with God. Yeah. The devil will start with a little fault sometimes, Sister Sandra. Just a little bitty thing that seems like it don't make any difference at all. The Bible says it's the small fox that spoils the vine. Amen. Sometimes it's just a little bitty thing that we're not even at the time aware of, but it's a fault. Yep. Bible says that eye is the light of the body. If the eye be evil, the whole body is full of darkness. If the eye be single, the whole body is full of light. Now you believe what you want to, but I kind of believe that talking about our eyes. <coughs> Because it don't miss nothing. Right. You see, everything before it gets in our heart has to go through Ooh. here first. Come on, so we need to be careful what we're thinking about. Yes, yeah. we do. We need to be careful what we listen to. Yeah. Because everybody that says they're on your side and they love you and they're for your welfare aren't necessarily so. That's the truth. That's what I like about Brother Derek. He's for real. He's real. He does what God tells him to as the way God wants him to. 
There's nothing phony there. He's for real. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Deception is one of the devil's tools that he uses to get to us. Yep. I've been fooled before by not having my mind and thoughts and heart in the right place. Right. Come on, brother. Right. And if Come you on. say, well, he couldn't trick me, think about Adam and Eve. Yeah, he did. God's very first creation of humanity. He deceived them, Sister Sandra, yeah. with one word. I can read it to you. Come on. But he deceived Adam and Eve with one word. Yeah, yeah. Not. That's right. The Lord told Adam and Eve, said, in the day that you can eat any fruit that you want to that's out there except for the tree of good and evil and the tree of knowledge. You can't take of it, leave it alone, because in the day that you eat thereof, ye shall surely die. Satan came along and asked the woman, said, Hath God said that ye shall not eat of the fruit of the tree? Let me tell you something. The devil knows God's word. Yeah. He does. <laughs> and he said, Hath God said that ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And Eve said, the Lord said that we may eat of every tree of the garden except for the tree of knowledge in the midst of the garden and the tree of, of, of good and evil. Because in the day the Lord said that in the day that we partook thereof or eat thereof, we would surely die. The devil came along with his deception. He came along with his lies. He came along to get their attention somewhere else except God and the truth. Yep. And he told Eve, he said, Thy shalt not surely die. Word of God, except for one word, not. Thy shalt not surely die. Don't tell me the devil don't know the word of God. He does. The only thing is he manipulates it. Yep. I heard some people say he can't tell the truth. Maybe so. But I seen him tell half of it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen him try to deceive somebody by telling them half of the truth. Half the truth. And half the truth life. makes a whole lie. It's, it's a whole lie. That's right. Man. Y'all ought to give somebody a hand oh, behind yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The devil's is a liar. He's a liar. Yeah. He was a liar from the beginning, and he was a deceptor from the beginning. Yeah. The brother said it last night. When the devil got kicked out of heaven, he took with him one third of all the angels that were there. Yep. Now you tell me that he ain't deceptive. Yep. I mean, here they were already in the blessed place in the universe. And the devil comes along and was able to deceive them, Sister Sandra, because if they hadn't been deceived, they wouldn't have believed him and they wouldn't have fell with him. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The devil comes along. Preach it. I'll have to read this because I can't remember exactly. I'm trying to remember as much of the scripture that I looked up as I can, but I have to read this one. But the devil came along one day. Come on, brother. Let me find it. Matthew chapter 4. Bless me, Jesus. Matthew chapter 4. Everybody turn there if you got your Bibles. I want you to read it with me. Don't think that the devil won't try to trick you up because he even tried it with our Lord's Master. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't work. It didn't work because God put the truth on him. See what? The devil was just trying to manipulate the Word of God. He was trying to use it for his advantage. He was trying to put someone at a disadvantage by using the word through manipulation. Yep. It wasn't because he feared God. It wasn't because he loved God. But it was because he was trying to trick someone. Yep. Just like he did Adam and Eve. And right. don't think that he will not try to do the same thing right. with you. Amen. The devil is deceptive. Yep. 
Yeah. He will make things seem one way when they're another. Yep. It's important to know God. It's important to be led by the Spirit of the living God. Amen. It's important to understand what God's Word says about everything. Yes, it is. Thing. I thought, God, I thought I'd been preached every message there was to be preached. And one word the Lord spoke to me, deception. Yep. And he got me at my attention, Sister Sandra. Wow. And I said, Lord, I really don't want to go there. Amen. And he said, well, we're going there anyway. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, yes. Brother. Got to do what God would have me to do, Sister Sandra. God loves you. Yes, he does. He sent his son, we all know, into this world to yeah. die for our sin. He loves us, Sister Sandra. <laughs> and he'll do anything he can to get us all home. Yes, he but will. everybody don't want to go. Yep. Oh, come on. Everybody don't want everybody to go. Everybody don't want to go. You know what? Sometimes I wonder if there won't be more faith in hell than it is in the world. Mm. Because then they'll know. Yep. Do you, you hear what I'm right. saying? You got that right. They will eyes will be opened, but it'll be too late. Yep. Because, Sister Sandra, the Bible says that once we get there, we're there. Yep. No turning back. No coming back. And you can't leave that place to get to the other. No way you're going to leave from there and go there. The Bible says so. There's a great gulf. gulf yep. in between. Yep. And what it's talking about is it is impossible once you get there, to ever get out. Yeah. I'm not going there by the grace and mercy of God. Yeah. I don't want my worst enemy to go to that Come place. On, it's going to be a place nobody wants yeah. to go. Yeah. Nobody even wants to visit that place, yeah. especially not to make it home. But you see, if we allow the devil to, he'll do his best to deceive us. Yes, he will. He deceived some people in the Bible one time. They went to the Lord. They were face to face with God on the judgment. And they said, Lord, have we not cast out devils in thy name? Wow. Have we wow. not done these great things in your name? Have we not prophesied in wow. your name? And the Lord will look at them and say, Depart from me, hey, you, you work. workers of iniquity. Hey. I never hey. knew you. Hey. Hey. Deception. Deception! Yeah. Deception! Don't let the devil get you with the capture! Yeah. Amen. Do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't yes. be blinded to the devil. Bless the Lord. Ask God to open your heart. Yes. Hallelujah! Ask God to open your eyes. Ask God to open your mind that you'll see him. Yes. I said, Lord, I don't want to see nothing else. I want to see you, God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Come in here this morning. Went back here in the office. Brother Derek just opened. He said, Brother Johnny, I'm going to turn you loose at preaching time. Because I knew the Lord done spoke one word to me, Sister Sandra. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on. And I hit Brother Derek and the Lord. That, there he said, you going to teach Sunday school this morning? I thought, wait a minute, Brother Derek, Sister Sandra, is going to be teaching Sunday school this morning. He said, no, I'm going to flip-flop it around. Amen. <laughs> and I thought, well, you're not supposed to preach in Sunday school, are you? <laughs> all right, Brother, preach it. Praise the Lord. It's all good, Brother. Oh, somebody all good. here needs to hear all me. Yes, amen. You need to hear me you. real good. <laughs> I feel the Holy Ghost, Brother Derek. I know what I'm talking yeah. about. The devil will tell you a lie. Yes, he will. Believe it. Don't believe the lie, but believe he'll tell you. Yeah, one. yeah, he will. He is a lie. He told Jesus right here. Matthew 4 and 1. Yep. It says, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hunger. And when the tempter came to him, we all know who that was, don't we? Yes, we yeah. do. When the devil showed up, <laughs> when the tempter came to him, he said, if you be the Son of God, if thou be the Son of God, come 
command that these stones be made for him. Yes. Jesus had no problem with doing that except for one thing. The devil was trying to get him to do it. Amen. He could have done it. Yep. Come on. But he answered and said, listen carefully. If you want to know the answer, look to God. If you got a question, he is the answer. I just can't get past that word deception, sister. Say right. running over me him. like water. Yes, him, Lord. Mm. Do not, do not, do not be deceived by Satan. Yes. He's a liar. He's a trickster. And he will mess with your mind. He's convincing crafty. too, brother. He was convincing. His very convincing. Yes, sir. My yes. says he is crafty. Yes. Crafty. Yep. <clears throat> and over there in Genesis, it said he is subtile. The, 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 the serpent in the garden, the Bible says, was subtile. the most subtile of all the creation. Yep. He was smart. He was wise. He was full of tricks and deception. Sneaky. And don't think the devil ain't smart. Sneaky devil. Come on. Jesus even called him one time an old sly fox. Yeah. Sly fox. Sneaky devil. Yeah. I'm going to wait just a minute. And I don't even know why. I know sometimes I do things kind of awkward. But the only way I know to do them is by the Spirit of God. Yes. Man. Come on, brother. I remember when I was in school. Maybe that's what that was all about. Come on, Because it brought my remembrance to something. Mm. But I remember when I was in school, back in the early grades, <laughs> that I would do something that I wasn't supposed to do, Sister Sandra. And the teacher would set me off in a corner by myself. Come on. And she'd say, you sit there a while and you think about it. Uh -huh. Think about what you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody just needed to think about it. Let it soak in yeah. just a little bit. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Do you know that there have been wars won by deception? Yep. Mm -hmm. I was watching the History Channel one time, Brother Derek, and I can't remember if it was World War I or World War II. But I remember they talked about when the enemy was trying to find, trying to find their, their artillery supply. When they was trying to find out where they had their tanks and where they had their airplanes all at. Mm -hmm. So that they could know which way they was going or where they yep. was coming from or where they might be headed to. So they was trying to find out where we had our airplanes and our tanks. Yeah. You know how sometimes they'll fly over and do that little thing right there, take a little snapshot. Well, you know what the, you know what the commander Whoever he was, I don't remember who it was, but you know what he decided to do? You know what he did? He went to a different place from where all our planes and all our tanks were. And you know what he did, Sister Sandra? I don't know how far away. I know it was a long way off. He, he had them to... The only thing that I know how to explain to you is like this. You know how you blow up them rubber rafts? Well, he blew up airplanes and tanks. He had these things sitting out there, Brother George. They weren't real. They were yep. phony. Yep. They were just being blown up and covered the whole area to where it looked like all our planes and all our tanks were sitting right there. Yep. And you know what? We didn't have a single one there. But as far as the enemy was concerned, they thought they knew where we were. But they didn't. They got fooled. And they lost that battle. Deception. When we were so, when we were in war with Vietnam, we would they would build their bridges across the water and we'd blow them up. Yep. They would go along to to build another bridge, Sister Sandra, to get their supplies across, and we'd blow them up. Mm -hmm. 
they would build another bridge and we'd find out where it was at and we'd blow it up. And all at once they was getting their surprise where they needed to go and there was no bridges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we couldn't figure out how are they doing it? Mm -hmm. How are they? Y'all better listen to me. Glory to God. The devil is deceptive. <coughs> and even more so in these latter days. As far as we was concerned, Sister Sandra, they had no bridges. How was they doing it? Well, after the war, they found out how they was doing it. They built the bridges just a little bit under the water. Mm -hmm. <coughs> where that we couldn't see where they were at. Can't blow up something you can't see. That's right. Uh -huh. Pretty, pretty good. Deception. The devil is out to deceive you if you let him. And if you let him, he will. Mm -hmm. Man. Good word, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Thank you, Lord. He Thank even you. tried to deceive Thank Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He did. The Son of God. the living God. And he went to him face to face and tried his best. To the mm -hmm. If you will fall down and worship me, the devil said, yeah. all these kingdoms will I give unto you. Mm -hmm. You know what the thing that was ironic about that, Brother George? God already owned them. He already had it. Amen. Mm -hmm. The devil was trying to offer him something that belonged to him. Do you hear what uh -huh. I'm saying? There you go. Amen. Amen. Deception. Oh, I'm going to say it again. Don't let the devil deceive you. Yeah. The devil will tell you there ain't no hell. Yep. If he can. Yep, he'll do it. The devil will tell you that heaven ain't real. If he can. Yes, he will. The devil will tell you that Jesus Christ didn't come here and hang on the cross and die for the sin of the world. And he'll try to make you believe that lie. And if you believe that lie, you're going to believe the rest of it. Yep, you will. He will try to make you believe that there is no God. Yep. He will try to make you believe that there is no Son of God. Yep. He will try to make you believe that hell is not a reality. But it is. We're going two places one of these days when we leave this world. We're either going to hell or we're going to heaven. Amen. One of the places you don't want to leave. The other one you can't. Yep. Do not let the devil deceive you. Amen. Don't let him lie to you. Amen. Jesus said he was a liar from the beginning. Yep. And I believe he's had so much practice that I just wondered if he ain't getting better. Sister. <laughs> he's told me, he tried to tell me one time, said, God don't want you preaching no more. Come on. I said, huh? Mm -hmm. I said, really? I said, Lord. I said, ain't nobody called me for no revival. Ain't nobody asked me to their church to pray. Amen. Ain't nobody won't ask me to do anything anywhere else except just in our church, God. And I'm an evangelist. And I said, God, maybe talking to God now. I said, God, maybe I'm not supposed to do this anymore. Lord, if you'll let me know that I ain't supposed to do this anymore, I'll quit and never do it again. But Lord, I need to know whether or not you changed your mind. Amen. Man called me up one Sunday morning. Ain't that right, Sister Penny? And said to me two things. He told me the thing first that I needed to know, Sister Sandra, exact words that you told me, and he didn't even know that I had asked you to pray. That morning, he calls me. And he said, Brother, I got that. I asked Sister Sandra and Erica to pray about something. I said, Don't. I didn't give them a clue or nothing. Did I? And I said, Pray, Sister Sandra, because I knew that God would talk to anybody. Y'all know we all have confidence in certain ones, don't we? Some of y'all might have more confidence than Brother Derek. You know me. Some of you might have a little more than me. You know what I'm saying. Yep. Right. Not that we love more one more than the other. I'm not saying that because we don't. But I called her up and I said, I need you to pray about something. Come on, brother. She prayed. Yes. I'd call her up 
Sister Sam, what did the Lord say? You ain't said nothing yet, brother. Is that right? I understand now what God was waiting on. See, sometimes you just gotta trust Him because sometimes you can't see the end of a tunnel, and you can't see the forest for the trees because there's things blocking us yep. that God understands and knows and sees that we can't perceive at the time. Yep. But He has ways of getting His answer across to us. Yes, He does. And she prayed. I think it went on two or three weeks, didn't it? Something like that. Maybe longer. I don't know. And one day I was at work. And I thought, well, Lord, you ain't going to talk to her this time. Come on. I'll just call somebody else. I'll ask someone else. Didn't tell them no more than I told Sister Sandy. Said I need an answer from God. That's it. That's all I said, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's all I told the other person. Amen. The other person called me back on a Sunday morning right there in the parking lot. Phone rang. Penny Hatcher said, Person over here wants to talk to you. Got on the phone. First thing he said was, Brother! I said, Mm hmm. He said, I got your answer from the Lord. I said, You do? And he said, Yes. He said, The Lord told me to tell you, you already know what you're supposed to do. Something I've been praying about now. Mm -hmm. And then he went on and he said, And another thing, God, don't. Yes. That blew me away. I didn't insist to me. That just blew me away. Amen. Because that's what I wanted to know. God, have you changed your mind? But that very afternoon, after I'd already got my answer, Sister Sandy was having some dinner or something back here. She, she comes up to me after the dinner. I guess we're all dismissing, I believe, going home. But she comes up and she said, I got your answer from God. And I'm thinking, Wait a minute, I thought I don't got that answer. <laughs> and I thought, what's she going to tell me? So I listened. I said, what did the Lord say, Sister Sam? And she said, the Lord told me to tell you. You already know what you're supposed to The other one didn't know about her, and she didn't know about the other one. But they both said exactly the same. One or two witnesses. That's not what the Bible says. Yes. Yeah. The devil plays magic sometimes. But let me tell you the difference between how the devil works and how God works. You see, the devil might work his magic. God works his miracles. Yep. Amen. There's a difference. If you don't believe some of them illusionists can fool you, you go see a good magician. And he'll have you standing on your head trying to figure out how in the world did that happen. That's not possible. Might not have been possible, but it looked like he done it. Uh -huh. Deception. The devil is a deceiver. Went on and he said, Man shall not live by bread alone. Verse 4. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up unto the holy city, setteth him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God. See, he was trying to manipulate him. He was trying to intimidate yes. Jesus. You ever had the devil to tell you you can't? Yeah. You ever had the devil to tell you you might as well give up? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had the devil to tell Come you on. you might as well quit? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you hadn't, just wait. Yeah. <laughs> He's told me, Sister Sandra, ain't gonna tell him how many times since I've been in the ministry, it's time to quit. God said, no, it ain't. Yeah. Who are you gonna believe? That's right. Thank you, You're gonna believe the miracle? Or you gonna believe the magic? Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. hear me? I'm the Holy Spirit. Glory Don't to God. look at the magic. Yes, look at the miracle. You can be deceived if you're not careful. If you be the Son of God, verse six, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give His angel angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, least at any time thy dash thy foot against a stone. Amen. Now, was that the truth? 
part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was the truth. But that didn't mean that Jesus was supposed to go around <laughs> thinking how doing being tempted and giving into a situation because the devil was trying to get him to. Jesus just put the word on him. He just said, verse 7, it's written again. Yep. Thou shalt not change the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to offer him, if you'll go on down to there and read, because I ain't got time, but he tried to offer him the king of the world, the kingdom of the world. Mm -hmm. He said, if you'll just fall down and worship me, I'm going to give these to you. <laughs> yeah. Jesus put the word on him again. again. He said, the Lord thy God, him only shalt thou serve. Sometimes if we would just remember these three scriptures. Yep. When the devil tells me, you might as well quit. Come on. Yeah. I'll hear the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. When I said, God, what has that got to do with anything? Then comes the word. Then comes the word. Deception. Yep. Why would God have me to preach a message like this? If the devil wasn't up to something. Y'all hear what Don't be deceived. Yes. The Bible says. Study to show yourself <clears throat> approved. Amen. Second Timothy. Chapter 4. Mm -hmm. I know I, I will read this verse. Thank you. Thank you. Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4. Look at it with me. Verse 3. And here's what it says. For the time will come. And I believe it already is. Yes. When they will not endure sound doctrine. <coughs> you know what that says? The yeah. time will come when they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to, they want they, they don't want to do right. Amen. Amen. Reject it. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers. Yeah. Having... Itchy ears. Itchy ears. You know what that means? Yeah. They want somebody to tell them something good. Mm -hmm. They want somebody to tell them it's okay to commit fornication yeah. and still go to heaven. They want somebody to tell them you can Come live on. in adultery and still go to heaven. They want somebody to tell them you can be a drug addict or a drunkard and still go to heaven. Come they on. want somebody to tell them it's all right to shack up with anybody you want to and still go to heaven. They want somebody to tell them it's okay to use a little bad language every once in a while that ain't hurt a thing and still go to heaven. Amen. They want somebody to tell them a lie to make them feel good. Yeah. Because we're living in a world where it seems like all people want is to feel good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know you felt that, Sister Sam. Oh, hallelujah. But they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. There's people, I, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. Say it, brother. Come on. I went to the fair one day. Yeah. Didn't want to go. Hate that place. It's too hot, too crowded, too rapid. Call but for Kamar, she loves them right. I hear what I'm saying. Come on. So I yeah. went down there. Happened to run up on a certain individual of which I will not reveal name or gender. Come on. But I run up on this person that presumably I thought who am I to condemn? But that person, Sister Sandra, says they're a Christian. Mm. And it amazed me what I heard come forth from their mouth. Mm -hmm. Shocked me because I thought I'd never hear nothing like this from this particular individual. Yeah. Mm. Nobody here, y'all. Get your mind over it. Come on. Come on. Most of you probably don't even know this person. Come on. Come on. This person says to me, says, I'm going to have to get out of here before I go to jail. I said, what? I've got a lady. Don't you see what's all around us, boy? I said, I'm not looking. This person said, it doesn't hurt to look. <laughs> Bible says, any man that looketh upon a woman to lust after her, 
has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Yep. So tell me now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a way that seemeth right unto man. Mm -hmm. But the end thereof are the ways of death. I know there's people that say they're Christians. And I'm not a judge, Sister Sandra. But the Bible tells us to look at the tree and you'll know it by their fruit. That's right. Don't know what a, you know the only way I can tell an apple tree is when I see the fruit. Yeah. The only way I know any kind of tree is when I see the fruit. Mm -hmm. But when I see an apple, you ain't going to tell me that's an orange tree. Mm -hmm. It's not. Walk in the light as he is in the light. And the blood of Jesus Christ <laughs> will continually cleanse us from all mm -hmm. sin. That doesn't give us the right to do it. That means if we slip, if we stumble, if we happen to falter. Mm -hmm. Hear what I'm saying? But the devil is a deceiver and will try to make us believe the word says something it doesn't say. Mm -hmm. That's what he was trying to do with Jesus. It's all right. Jump off her. It says you'll be just fine. God take care of you. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Lord gave me a message one time, Sister Sandra, about gravity. You know? If I jump up off, jump up on a building, and I ask God to take care of me, I want to fly. Lord, you said you'd take care of me. Yep. And I intentionally jump from a 20-story building, I'm mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. You're in trouble. Ain't that what the devil was trying to get Jesus? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's okay, said the devil. There's no harm in that. It's just a little bitty thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, my daddy used to grow a garden. I got to hurry. My daddy used to grow a garden, Sister Sam, <clears throat> and he loved his green beans and his squash and okra, and we liked the watermelons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he'd get a little bitty black spot on that vine. Mm -hmm. That's all it took if something wasn't done. Yep. The little fox spoiled the vine, yep. and the fruit were rotten. A lot of people got a little vine. I got a little little fox or a little black fox that shouldn't be hanging on to the vine. Oh, mm. I'm talking to somebody here. Oh, a little sure. something is all it takes, Sister Sandra. Yeah. Just a little bitty thing that doesn't seem to matter. Mm. Mm -mm. Blessing, Lord. <coughs> Go on with it. You know the devil might say, does matter. Well, that's all right. You can look at her or you can look at him. They look good. They're pretty. They're handsome. But what's going on up here? You hear what I'm saying? The Bible says. The world says. But then God says. What we need to learn to listen to is what God says. You understand? Yeah. Because the devil is out to kill, steal, and to destroy. Yes, he is. If he could bring down one third of the angels sitting in heaven with God, what makes you think, if we're not carefully good to see this? I brought to the God had me to preach this for a reason. My, my. Sometimes people will say, well, that was just a little word. Mm. <laughs> little Sometimes people even spell it out. I ain't yet figured out the difference. Maybe you have. <laughs> but to me, I ain't going to spell it. If I can't say it, I ain't spell it. And sometimes they'll abbreviate words. What's the difference? What's the difference? Oh, yeah, what's the difference? I mean, the little things. The little things. The little thing. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. The devil is deceptive. I'm not talking about anybody in here. I'm just saying that the devil will try to trick us any way he can. Can't. It doesn't matter if he comes in your front door your or your back door or, or, or through the window or up under the house or on top. It don't matter to him. All he cares about is getting in your heart. Yeah. 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 Because a lot of the Bible. Your mind, if your mind ain't clean, mm -hmm. your heart ain't even. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, that's hard. That's hard. Yep. I had to learn that too, Sister Sandra. I did, Sister Sandra. I had to learn. Yeah. Sometimes, what is it? Casting down, is that what you always say? Yeah. Every imagination and thought that what? Exalt itself against God. Amen. Brother Derek said it last night. 
anything that is not of faith is sin. Me having a bad thought is not faith, is it? No. <laughs> no. Come on, bro. Casting down on thoughts and imaginations. Yeah. Let me read this to you, and I'm quitting this by my time. Learn to grow. Any more you start doing? Amen. Second Timothy 3 and 13. Second Timothy 3 and 13, if you'll look there with me. Amen. That's my help, thank God. Amen. Amen. She's the one that keeps me straight. So my head, well, the Lord keeps me straight. But he uses her a lot of time to keep me out of bed before it comes off track. She thinks she did all that. Not all of it. But. Oh, come on now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Chapter 3, verse 13 of 2 Timothy says, But evil men and seducers, Seducers. Sister Sister LeVon prophesied to me one time. I don't even know if she remembers it or not. It's been years and years and years ago. But do you remember, Sister LeVon, you come to me one time and you said, the Lord wanted me to tell you to beware of seducing spirits. Oh. You remember that? And I thought, what's she talking God. about? <laughs> I just didn't have the understanding that I needed, but I knew that she told me to be, watch out for me. Mm -hmm. Now I know what she meant. But evil men and seducers of get worse and worse. Yes, they will. Deceiving and being deceived. But continue in the things that you've already learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom you <coughs> learned them. I'm done, y'all. Bless I, God. I praise the Lord. Thank God for this privilege and opportunity to stand for Him. Thank y'all for your attention and for your Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a day.